see some unfamiliar names on your ballot, especially when it comes to those judicial races. Yet those blind votes that so many make each election are for some of the most important positions in our society. Local 10's Bob Norman takes a look at the strange system that determines the scales of justice in South Florida. Judges that don't know anything about them. Yeah, you're voting. Yes, I'm voting. You see the signs and get the campaign pamphlets in the mail. Dozens of candidates vying for the bench. Those judges can have a greater impact on their lives than the president of the United States. But for most voters, it usually comes down to little more than a game of eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It's a leap of faith. Leap of faith. Between Broward and Miami Day, there are no fewer than 20 judicial races, and voters often at the last second are left wondering, who are these people? What about uh, Curry, Destry, Duffy, Greenwald, and Rifkin? They, they were not on our ballot. The, the, these judges weren't? Huh? No, the judges. Carl Albrechtson conceded he really had no idea who he was voting for judge. There's too many judicial races. That's the problem. What it is, is a form of Russian roulette. Broward public defender Howard Finkelstein said all too often it comes down to voting by ethnicity, race, or religion. You're basically, for the worst possible reasons, choosing a candidate that will have life and death decisions over individuals. For Albrechtson, there was another determining factor. What I feel you have to do is, what does your gut tell you? And I, I feel that women run things a heck of a lot better than men do. So you go by chromosomes. <laughs> <laughs> They've never let us down before. A couple of the judge, female judges drinking too much, but you know, hey. In Fort Lauderdale, Bob Norman, Local 10 News.